Hello and welcome to Texas. Today I'll be talking and telling you about what it's like to use my first generation Moto 360 that was released back in 2014 in 2017. So let's get started. <laughs> So kicking it off with a few specs, the first gen Moto 360 has a 1.56 inch 320 by 290 IPS flat tire display, so basically the screen is a circle with the bottom chopped off, um, 500 megabytes of RAM, 1 gigahertz processor based on TOMAP 3 chipset, 320 milliamp hour battery and IP67 certified so it can be submerged in up to one meter of water for 30 minutes. Now these specs in 2014 in smartwatches weren't great so now in 2017 it, it isn't fast compared to any of the new smartwatches which the um which the which the T O map which the TOMAP 3 ch chipset was old even at the time of the Moto 360 release. It was in fact four years old. So now being seven years old does not help, making it sluggish. However, it does have, however, it does charge wirelessly using Qi, so that's a nice addition. Another downside to using such an old watch is its Max OS which is Android Wear 1.4.0 and Android 6.0.1. So due to the low, slow and old specs, it unfortunately will never get, never make it to Android Wear 2.0 or anything higher than 1.4, so 1.5, etc. Which if you want to find more about Android Wear 2.0, Josh made a video about it, which there'll be a link in top right corner. And not to mention, that the glass on the back of these are known on these first gen Moto 360s to crack and break, and mine has. Um, and also mine has gotten a replacement band, um, which I got on eBay for seven bucks, which is one of the main reasons it ha um, the glass is cracked on mine. But, it, but now you're wondering, what is it like to use day to day? And I can tell you I've been using this watch for now over a year day to day for um, at school and it isn't shockingly bad like the specs might say because if say you had a seven year old a phone with seven year old specs probably a different story but this watch is alright for using it like a standard smartwatch checking the time checking and replying to messages and using the odd app it holds up the watch does lag when trying to do anything a bit more intensive um, and some people have even had it shut off but mine doesn't shut off and it is usable. I get about a full day out of the battery with my light to moderate use. If I really try and push it maybe a day and a half but that's if I'm lucky. However saying all that your experience may vary. I've seen that People complain on forums that their battery doesn't last a day, shuts off at random times, etc. So, but that's my use case. So now the question is, would I recommend buying one for cheap? Um, which I think they go for less than a hundred Australian dollars. So in the US, that's even cheaper. They'll be dead cheap. I would say no, unless you simply couldn't buy anything more expensive. Um, you, there's a lot better watches out there. Um, smart watches, even though the smart watch crave has ended now. Um, however, yeah, there's other things like the Huawei watch that um, Josh owns and has done a video on. Um, lots of Samsung tires and watch for watches, and so just have a look at the market. Um, yeah, but saying all of that. If you still own one today, like me, and you're having the good experiences I'm having, you could probably use it for another six months or even more, and then sort of at that point, it's starting to get very up, outdated with Goop releasing more updates for Android Wear 2.0, and 
and apps getting outdated and watch getting slow. Anyway, if you own a first gen Moto 360, leave your experiences down in the comments below. It'd be good to read them and anyone watching this can have a look at theirs if they really want to buy the watch. I don't know, some use case for it. Um, yeah, saying what I said before, um, I'll probably be keeping this watch for another four months before upgrading or so. Um, yeah. So anyway, thank you for watching. Liked it if you liked it and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. This is Texas. Have a good day.